if you re if you can read the uh okay um Today is going to be a Lush and Sephora haul, including other goodies that I got. And let's just get started. I'm going to start off with Lush. Okay, so Lush is amazing. The first thing I got was a... I'm not... I'm also not very good at pronouncing words or the names. Well, I guess a few of them. This is Blackberry uh, Bath Bomb. And I can't, ex I'm going to try my best to explain the smells to them. Pretty much, if you don't know what these are, um, you just drop them into your bath um, as the water is going. And it like, like fizzes, fizzes and explodes inside the bath. And it's just like an awesome experience. And you just feel really relaxed and peaceful. And light a candle and an incense going on. And you just feel, you feel great. And this is my first time trying this one also. I I've been very excited to use these, like I've been so excited to be able to even record this so I can be able to use them. It definitely smells like blueberries and it has like a, some kind of cologne kind of smell to, to it, at least to me it does. At first I was kind of, I was like iffy about it but then at the same time I wasn't unsure if I wanted it but some, one of the one of the dudes there was like, oh, well, you will love this one if you love this one. And I was like, oh, okay, well, then I'll just try it out. And so, sorry, I'm a little hot, guys. So that that's um, Blackberry Bath Bomb. Yes. This one right here I got is called Tisty Toast. And it's just a heart-shaped form. And it's it smells really fresh. And I don't know, it smells very clean and, like, vanilla-y. If you guys smell the, um... I think it was the, the fresh, the fresh lotion that you get at Ulta. Um, I don't know. It smells. It just smells very fresh, and it has like little flowers in it. If you can see like flowers in there, so it'll be like a. I don't know. I never used these before, so it's my first time trying all of these. Enchanting love spell, and that was Tisty Toasty. This is another bath bomb, and this one is kind of similar. But it's kind of in a round shape and it has one flower inside. And I don't know if it's focusing. It's like really bright and it's just, it just stopped raining. It was raining for a while. And this one is called Amon. I have like the book right here. Uh, um, Amondo Pondo. And it's, it's, it says it's a beautiful rose and lemon bath. And so this one is described as a beautiful rose and lemon bath. And blackberry for calm and clarity. That's blackberry. Sorry, I'm just saying these now. I forgot I had the book. It will be all listed down below. Just so that you guys know. I didn't know it was a soap. But I'm pretty sure it's a soap. I don't know. I think it's soap. <laughs> but it smelled really good to me. And I thought it was really pretty. And so I wanted to get it. Even if it, even if it, even if it's a soap, I can use it for myself, my body. Ugh, this one's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it, it's like green and blue, and it has like yellow, like, like you can even see my finger if, it, if it's showing, if it's showing on the screen. I don't know. Let's see. Let me get a little closer. Like frost, and it smells. I don't know. So I, I'm like really bad at explaining scents, but I just want to like share with you guys what I got, and it smells really lemony and clean. I don't know. I just I really liked it. It smelled really good, and I was like, I need to have you, and I like the name of it, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, only because it reminds me of uh, if you guys ever seen Salad Fingers. I don't know if you guys seen that. I don't know. It's it's on YouTube. It's people think it's weird, but I really like it. I enjoy watching it. But that's what it reminded me of when I seen the name somewhere over the rainbow. It does come in big bricks, so you you can choose on what what size you would want it on. And so I chose like a, a decent amount of size. 
I didn't want something too big because I, I was going to be the only one who's going to be using it for myself. So got a shampoo. Now, I'm not very familiar with these kind of shampoos. Um, it's called Copperhead. And when I took it out of the bag earlier, it starts to break down on me. So I'm going to try to see if I can show you like this somehow. It smells good too, but pretty much you're supposed to grab wet your hands and make sure your hair is also wet and lather it into your palms and then you work it in, massage it into your scalp. Um, like I said, I'm not familiar with these kind of shampoos. Um, it'll be my first time also using it. It's the lady who worked at Lush um, told me that it actually helps with uh, treating hair, like coloring hair. So if you're coloring your hair a lot, it actually helps keeping the color in. And that's what interests me because I dye my hair a lot. I just dyed it last night because it was washing out quickly. Ahead, it keeps colors bright. Perks your hair up with the with this gent gently cleansing shampoo, ground coffee, and henna. Add shine and fur trade vanilla absolute sub sub subtly per perfumed hair. So basically, it just helps keep the color in your hair. No matter what color you're dyeing it, since I am, my hair is red. Um, I'm hoping that it will keep the color in and not fade as quickly as, as usual. I picked up a small sample size of uh, a conditioner. I wanted a lightweight one. I should have got another one, but it was, it was kind of too late when I got back to my house. It's called... V Vagnese. I, like I said, everything will be listed down below. I cannot pronounce words. I'm very bad at it. Um, it says this, a lemon for shine, seaweed for softness, and herbal herbal infusions for your scalp, and a fresh, light condition for all types of hair, not just vegans. And that's all I got from Lush. Now to the fun part. Makeup. Okay. Queen. Both of the Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara and the Volume Express Mascara, they're both in black, and so I had to pick up these again. Two Faced um, Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. Um, I heard about this all on YouTube, and I was I really wanted to try it out, and so I decided to why not just get it. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long. This is uh, the Nars Creamy Concealer in Custard. Look how beautiful the packaging is. I've been wanting this forever and I finally got it. I've been wanting the Nars Eater brush too, but they never have it there. I just don't want to order online because I don't want to wait. Oh! Okay, it just fell out the bottle or the packaging. So, I got the Smashbox Photo, Photo Finish Primer Water. I only got this because of Jaclyn Hill. Jaclyn Hill always talks about and how much she loves it. And whatever she says, I will definitely buy because I love her and I... I believe in everything she says and has to say to everyone. Um, so basically it's just a primer before you um, add on your foundation, concealer, and anything else in your face. So it's just a water primer and yeah, that's it. Okay, I finally got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. I have Opal. But I know that is for like darker skin tones, which I can compare in a few seconds. But this is Moonstone. This is um, mostly for lighter skin tones like like me. Like if you're fair, you would want to go with Moonstone. But I am pretty fair. And I do have Opal. But I do think that they're both beautiful. It just has like um, It's like very shimmery, very light. It's very fair. And it has like... A yellow tint in my eyes has yellow tint. It has like a little flex of shimmer in it. Soft and gentle. And this one's more intense. Even though they are, I'm pretty sure they're both going to be pretty pigmented. Like, let's see. I'll swatch them both for you guys. So this one, oh, I haven't even got to see it yet. Can you see that? Let me do another swatch. Let's see. I I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I hope so. That is Moonstone. This is Becca. You could definitely see Becca a lot more. At least than I can. Do you find her? So Becca is more... 
it has more of a bronzier kind of feel to it. And, the other one, and then Moonstone has more like a vanilla kind of thing, uh, gleam to it in my eyes at least. So I definitely got that and I'm so excited to use that too. Maybe use them together. It's Last time I, I uh, went shopping at Sephora, I got the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks and I picked up two more. I got Melted Fig and Melted Velvet. Um, <clears throat> now what I did notice um, after using them for a while, they actually did become really matte on my lips. And that's what I do like. I like matte lips rather than really glossy. Like, I would like a sheen, but nothing too, like, you know, not, I don't like too much glossy. This is a very nice purple. It's very mauve -y. It has hints of purple, pink, a little bit of pink in it. And so that's why I got that one. So that's Melted Fig. Melted Velvet. I was very excited for this one. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and here's the applicator, by the way. It's just, it just comes in a squeezy tube. And it has like the little spongy tip for the applicator. See, it has more red tones in it. As opposed to Melted Fig, it has more purple tones into it. So if you guys can see that. And they do smell like candy. So that's that's the good part about it. <laughs> it smells like candy. My aunt, okay, my I know a lot of people are against lime crime right now. And I, for one, will possibly still might be buying from them. Um, my aunt got this for me and I'm very happy that she got it for me. This is Cashmere by Lime Crime. I've been wanting this color ever since I've seen, even heard about Lime Crime. Um, I've seen it all over on Instagram. Literally, all over on Instagram. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want the dupe, I want Lime Crime. I want, I want this one. I don't want to get hate for it, but this is it. This is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's a mauve muted down brown it looks very nude on people on many different lips and i got the becca mineral brushed blush in flower child now look at this packaging isn't that such a cutie baby compared to the big monsters look at that <laughs> that's so cute Okay, so this is a blush flower child, and I was attracted to this color. I was looking at all of them, and this one, I, I don't know, I got more attracted to this one. It kind of reminds me like a spring color, and I was thinking about spring and the summer coming up. And so this is what it looks like. It has um, a little gold gold uh, flex in it. Like, just a tiny bit of flex of uh, gold in it. It's a very pink color. It's, it looks really pretty. It looks really pretty. It looks really peachy, and I think it's gonna be perfect for spring and summer. So that's the main reason why I picked it up. This is the Jewel of Nail color in Connie, and it's just a very pretty purple. It looks kind of like a fuchsia purple. That's really pretty. Um, I might just have to try it out today. I finally got Jordana products. Um, I've been wanting to, I could never find Jordana products every time I went to Walgreens and I finally found it and the one thing I wanted was not there so I was kind of upset with that. It was a lip liner, I think it was called Tawny. I heard so many good things about this mascara and I definitely wanted to give it a go. Um, this is the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. So this one is Baby. Berry, and I don't have that's pretty. Mm -hmm. So it's a mauvey, pinky, uh, light washed color. We have Sedona Red. Yep, pink undertones in it. So this is Sedona Red. So, yes, this is it right there. And this is pink, our uh, pink love. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribe, please subscribe. And if anything, if you guys want to hit me up on social media, I do have an uh, Instagram. Uh, I have Facebook. I don't have Twitter. I like I forgot my Twitter information, so I have to remake a new one. But other than that, um, yeah, just follow me. Leave comments. What do you guys would love to see next? And I'll definitely be more than happy to do so. Alright guys, thank you for watching.